caught up, the affair that ruined four marriages. This meant that Sarah was ten minutes late when she finally made it to the restaurant. In spite of the fact that Sarah's friend Melody had extended an invitation to her for lunch, she remained at the office for a considerable amount of time because there were some problems that occurred at the office. The sight of her friend caused Melody to break out in a broad smile. There is a significant delay in your progress. Although it was not a complaint, it was more of a statement than anything else. At this moment, there is the possibility that things may get quite chaotic at the workplace. I almost avoided losing my life. The remaining ten minutes were spent by them as they engaged in idle chat, flipped over the menu, and placed their orders, simultaneously. Regarding the question that I posed, do you have any views or opinions? Melody was optimistic that her friend would express the same sentiment. In that little instant, Sarah took a big breath. This is nothing short of insane. In the event that you are discovered, what are the repercussions that you intend to face? Although it was not a question, it was more of a statement than anything else. I am not going to be caught by anyone. Simply put, this is the one and only time. The absence of Bill from the city is expected. They are going to take us out of town, to a place where no one is familiar with us, and we are going to head there. There won't be any concerns or issues at all. The famous dying words of one and all individuals who have ever imagined that they were too tiny and too smart to be caught Melody could not help but giggle at the anxiety that her friend was experiencing. I am aware that you are only seeking to protect me from damage, nevertheless, I have taken into consideration all that Bill will never learn, and what he does not know will not be damaging to us. You are so confident in yourself that this is the moment when you will pass away. You have such a strong belief in yourself. This is something that you are aware of, right? Given the nature of our world, it is challenging to accurately predict everything that will take place. The worries that you are experiencing are unnecessary, everything will be okay. She shook her head and gave her friend a look that suggested she was confused. It is possible that there will be no spare time for rest. Whatever the case may be, Melody claimed that this is the reason why I am experiencing a headache. If you could only provide me with an alibi, it would be the only thing I could demand from you. In the event that it is brought up in conversation, you can simply tell Bill that we had a wonderful time and that we intend to get together again in the not-too-distant future. It is quite unlikely that Bill will even attempt to challenge it. Upon hearing her own joke, she let out a hearty laugh. My issue is precisely that you will not stop at a single point in time, this is exactly what I am worried about. You are going to do it again, perhaps with the same guy or possibly with someone else, but you are not going to stop at just one time. This is despite the fact that you proclaim that it is only going to happen once. Sarah was becoming increasingly irritated with her pal as time went on. You are worrying far too much, Sarah. On a regular basis, we go shopping together. At this moment, you will go by yourself, and we will get together at a later time to put in our meeting registration, Sarah explained. The silence lasted for a short while. While Sarah was still contemplating this request, Melody prayed that she would grant her consent at that very time. Sarah was still considering this request. In the course of their conversation, Sarah became aware that the woman who was seated next to them was monitoring them. Her face was a picture of complete and utter despondency, and it was written all over. Melody and Sarah both looked at the woman, and when they did so, one of them saw the expression of anguish written on the woman's face. While the other saw the expression of aggravation. Do you mind if we have a private conversation? An inquiry was made by Melody to the woman, who then glanced at them. Although she did not answer Melody's call, she did add in a low voice, perhaps I can assist you with your decision. Melody's call was not answered. A woman who is incredibly foolish is the subject of the story that I shall tell you. This is the story of a woman who, once upon a time, possessed everything. She was blessed with a husband who was both gorgeous and kind, two wonderful children, a career that she cherished, and a house that made her feel at home in every meaning of the term. However, despite having everything, she desired more. Her existence eventually led her to become complacent and, at times, bored with it. She was unable to discern what was truly significant. At the place where she worked, there was a man. He had a younger appearance, was attractive, and was wise in his speech. It was then that they began to eat lunch together. As the lunches became longer, they eventually evolved into dinners. The conversations reached a more personal level. Following the conclusion of dinner, 
they began dancing, and before long, they were making plans to go to bed together. It would have only been one time, but one turned into two, and so on, until it became usual for them to just sneak away and be together. She needed an alibi for all her overtime and Saturday shopping trips, so she hired her pal to lie for her. The friend felt that it was none of her concern and agreed somewhat grudgingly. She became sloppy, and finally she was caught. Her spouse was outraged. She went away from home, expecting that with time he would calm down, but he never calmed down. His buddies kept him from doing something reckless, but he declared war on everyone who knew about the betrayal. He notified the husband of the friend who was providing an alibi for his wife and the husbands of all the other friends who knew about it or who he felt could know about it. Soon, the husbands stopped trusting their wives, and once the confidence went, the woman sat there, lost in her recollections, shaking her head. She finally looked at Melody. A single woman's itchiness was responsible for the breakup of four marriages and four divorces. Despite the fact that her boyfriend has gone on to better things, she was left with nothing. This is the irony surrounding the scenario. When Melody looked at the woman, she felt nothing but true compassion for her, but she was also aware that she was just acting foolishly. Although I am sorry that you were caught, the error that you did was turning it into a fling. I'm going to be more cautious. The only time it will happen is once. It is fine because my husband will never find out about it. A look that could be classified as disgust was the one that the woman gave to Melody as she glanced at this woman. It appears that you have a misconception, I have never cheated on my husband. The woman moved her gaze to look at Sarah. The fool who gave her an alibi was me. I was the one who did it. Following that, there was complete stillness at both of the tables. Following the completion of her beverage, the woman gathered her belongings, put a few bills under her glass, and then finally went. She did not stop feeling unhappy throughout all of this time. When Sarah turned to Melody, she said, I'm leaving, in a tone that was too soft for anyone else to hear. If you proceed in this manner, I will not be present. No, I won't tell you a lie. Sarah was under the impression that each and every minute she spent with her buddy posed a larger threat to both her own marriage and to her own security. Melody was a risky person, and the cost of maintaining a friendship with her was excessively high. If you want to make sure that your second chaff does not cheat on you, you should subscribe to our channel. Additionally, you should be sure to listen to the following story because this one is nothing in comparison to the one that comes after it. Should you be younger than 18 years old, you should not even contemplate listening to the one that is about to be presented to you. This wasn't just some old flame rekindling, fam, this was a dance of redemption, a plea for understanding, and the crushing weight of a love lost to time and choices. But Evan, the man who held the key to Mary's forgiveness in his still, unread letter, dances away, leaving us with a cliffhanger that's colder than a winter's night. Feeling the chills. Hit that like if your heart's tangled in this story, share if it sounds like someone you know, and follow for the next chapter where secrets are spilled and hearts either heal or shatter. Don't just watch the drama unfold, be part of the story. Your double tap could write the next page. If you're under 18, the depth of this drama might just be too grown up. But for everyone else, brace yourselves. The next video blows this mystery wide open.